Yup, you guessed it. This creepy motherfucker with a pet megalodon spider that's hiding in the shadows right now, stalking Glitch. Yeah, this is the next new character to be released in Season 4. So let's talk about this new character and also some other pretty interesting things that Rogue Company might have up their sleeves that nobody really knows is coming to Season 4. What's going on everyone? Welcome back and I'm glad to see you back. So look, a couple days ago we got a little taste of what Rogue Company Season 4 will bring to the table with the PTS finally opening up. And all I'm saying about that is the new map Wanted is the best map in the game. The cosmetics for the season are fucking gas, but um... What the fuck is wrong with um Dallas's eyes? I can't be the only one who saw that shit. Oh, and also, all you Scorch, Chalk, uh, who else? Lancer, specifically? Y'all gonna be fucking demons this season with that shotgun buff. Yeah. It's y'all season to shine, dog. Now, hold on, though. So, yeah, this PTS did allow us to test out a lot of what's coming in Season 4, but definitely not everything. These Rogue Company people love to be all types of sneaky out here, always dropping in hints of what's coming next. Well, to be honest, what I'm about to show you isn't really a little hint. They just straight up leaked the next new Rogue. It's not even a question at this point. <laughs> So over on Twitter, the official Rogue Company account posted a tweet saying, Jackal is always watching with a mysterious picture of a shadowed figure with a big ass spider by his foot. Yeah, seem familiar? Hey, look, I'm gonna tell y'all on the real. I don't like bugs, I don't fuck with bugs. So look, I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. This is Guava, the next new rogue to be released, coming out in season four. And finally, this character is not a good guy. He's not a rogue. He's not a part of Justicar. This motherfucker is confirmed to be a jackal. The first ever playable jackal is finally coming. And yeah, that's obviously confirmed by Rogue Company's tweet. Now yeah, having the first ever jackal in Rogue Company as a playable character is pretty fucking cool. But what do we know about Guava? What's his abilities and weapons and also what else could be coming to season four so Kremar, who once again is one of the most trusted league accounts over on twitter has been leaking guava for months at this point but finally we have a definite answer as to what guava's active ability can actually do and i even have in-game audio files of this ability in action so Kremar tweeted about guava's active ability which is called spider saying and i quote a remote controlled drone with the appearance of a spider that can be used to sneak enemies and detonate near them causing significant area damage. Now boys listen up, before we start talking about how this ability exactly works, look I'm a grown ass man but I am deathly afraid of spiders so if one of you see me in game and you purposely take that nasty ass crawling ass spider near me you try to scare me and blow my shit up, I promise you I'm fucking quitting Rogue Company and I'm never playing this game again. Low key, I, now I'm starting to think about spiders and- hey yo look video's over, no I'm done, no. Mm -mm. All right, all right, let me stop because this is where things get really, really interesting. So I'll put on my big boy pants on and I'll try not to shit myself. So look, it seems like Guava's spider drone can be used like a mix between intel and also a breacher. So the intel part comes from being able to sneak around the map much more stealthy than a player being your goddamn nasty ass spider, similar to like an R6 drone or actually exactly like a watchdog spider drone. I, actually, they're, they're literally identical. <laughs> Now the thing is, yes, Guava's drone is a spider, unfortunately, I fucking nasty ass shit. Anyways, but it, is, <laughs> but it is unclear if it can climb up on walls and stay stationary wherever it's placed acting like a camera. But to be fair, we don't know everything about this drone, so it is possible. But what do you think about that? A drone that can climb up on walls and become a camera. I mean, to me, that'd be pretty damn cool, especially, especially for competitive play. I don't know, it reminds me of Rainbow Six and I, I, I'm feeling the vibes, I'm feeling it. Now, like I said, you can potentially use this drone for breaching, however, that's dependent upon how fast this drone actually is and also how fast you can detonate this thing. And since I do have those in-game audio files, we can actually get a pretty good idea of how fast this thing explodes and a bunch more audio clues. Thank you. 
Now, I'm not going to lie here, boys. These audio files make it seem like this drone can do a lot more than just explode. And I'm just saying it seems like there's some sort of like scanning feature. So this drone might be a lot more equipped for Intel than we thought. But honestly, there's another thing that's kind of weird. Some of the explosions seem a lot faster than others. I mean, I literally timed it. One explosion was literally six seconds for it to go off and another one only took three. Now, I will say some of these audio files might be the noise it makes when the drone gets destroyed but i don't know it's kind of hard to tell they're just audio files so I, it could literally it can be anything now what do you think about guava so far do you like his spider drone or do you hate it i mean i know there are a lot of people out there that don't like the idea of cameras in real company for some reason but look, I'm just saying it off the bat, I'm all for Guava. But again, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm really interested in what you guys think. Oh, but we're not done because Real Company really thinks they're slick. But I swear, Creamar is on their ass. Nothing gets by without Creamar leaking it and me analyzing it. So it's looking like Real Company starting to experiment with some new gadgets and even perks. Now, Creamar posted some leaked strings of a gadget called the Impact Grenade. Now, if you been playing video games i think we all know what an impact grenade is now look rogue company does have their fair share of diff different type of grenades you know like the frag grenade the bounce grenade the sticky grenades but impacts oh we is an impact grenade sound nice i mean come on think about the clip possibilities you can get i just think about it you're out here sniping people left right and center and some fucking chalk comes out of nowhere overheals himself rushes you but <laughs> you got an impact grenade now so boom throw that bitch right at his face he's dead come on come on sounds fucking amazing to me now i don't know if i'm playing too much rainbow six but look impact grenades immediately make me think you know destructible environments i look i'm just spitballing but hey <laughs> Destructible environments would be fucking uh, pretty juicy in real company. Just saying, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Now, as of right now, there's not much about the impact grenades in terms of damage or any stats like that. However, we do know there are impact grenades in the real company file, so that's something. Now, let me know what you think about this new grenade. Are you down? I mean, to be honest, look, real company has bounce grenades, sticky bombs. It's not like this grenade is completely out of the box. It kind of makes sense. I look, I, I think. Think we'd see an impact grenade before a bounce grenade look so i'm all on board for this one but let me know what you think now in that same exact tweet we also have a leak of a perk called siphon which says gain max health when you down or eliminate an enemy now <laughs> hold on because this sounds nuts look i was all for an impact grenade but this even as a active ability sounds broken as hell let alone being a perk nah look this this is different ah uh, i don't i don't know about this one <laughs> Now look boys, there's a lot more leaks about season 4, but I think I'm going to make a whole separate video because there's some leaks, some leaks that I know about that are actually crazy, much more insane than what I talked about even in today's video. So look, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.